Hey, so I realized math industry, and we are going to take a look at the waves, which is physics, and it's a new video, and also a new unit. So, when you think of waves, what do you think of? Well, when you think of a wave, someone might be waving high, but what we're trying to do is, it's a different kind of wave, such as... I'm gonna go on a wingy violence, and and you're not. You're gonna get the opposite of wingy violence. Uh, dream, nightmare, nightmare moon. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? The volcano's erupting. Oh no! Whoa! Oh. <gasps> Yeah, that is some kind of wave. It could be on a beach, or a volcano, whatever, or, and beyond. <laughs> so, a wave in physics is the definition right here. Waves go up and down in a harmonic repetitive motion. So, a harmonic motion happens when something repetitively does an action, like a pendulum or a spring. Waves can transport energy, however, they cannot transport objects or anything else. If I place a ping pong ball on a wave in a water tank and shake the water tank around, it makes a wave, the water makes waves, and the ping pong ball bobs up and down, but it won't really carry it back and forth. And the crazy thing is, that's because it's just going to go up and down. Energy is what's making the waves go up and down and making what the wave is in terms of like it keeps going more and more. So now, we're going to take a look at four things that we can measure in a wave. So, in a normal wave where it goes up and down, there's the amplitude, the wavelength, the frequency, and the wave velocity. I'm pretty sure the wave velocity is basically how fast the wave is going from one point to the other point. So yeah, we don't really have to do anything with this because you'll measure this literally in meters per second. Let's try to look at the amplitude. So the amplitude is how powerful the wave has. It could be sound waves or light waves. The amplitude is how powerful the wave actually is. So you can measure that by measuring here to the bottom. This top is called the crest. Right over here is called the trough. And what you do is, when you measure the amplitude, you go from the line horizontally up to the bump of a wave. Next one we're going to take a look at is called the wavelength. The wavelength is a factor of helping us understand the frequency of a wave. So the wavelength is going to be from here all the way to here, and also here from all the way over here, measures the distance between two bumps in a wave. And the frequency is how many of those bumps passing in a given amount of time in one second. So every one second, how many of these bumps is passing the desired area? So for frequency, that helps us understand the harmonic motion part where it goes up and down, and how many bumps pass a certain destination in just one second. So this is an introductory video for waves and physics. What we're going to do tomorrow, or what we're going to do in the next video, is understand the mathematics behind the waves, and actually use real-life examples. I hope this video has helped you understand waves and physics. 
Thank you for watching Tao Ping Online's Math Industry. Like and subscribe.